Welcome to the SCP Foundation, where we study the strange and anomalous in the name of science. All information regarding SCPs is to be divulged exclusively on a need-to-know basis. If you should hear any information regarding an SCP that you are not assigned to, please ignore it. Due to the increase in breach attempts over the past month, all personnel are required to carry their identification at all times and undergo psych evaluation at least once a month. Researcher Grand, please come to the front desk to pick up the pineapple pizza that you ordered. Don't be ashamed, Grant. When it comes to pineapple on pizza, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Security, please seize Researcher Grant in the lobby. Our motto is secure, contain, and protect. Not destroy, destroy, and destroy. Welcome new D-Class personnel. Please follow the orange line on the floor to briefing room 3 for your orientation. Congratulations to D-04532 and D-71159 for completing your month of service. As soon as you're ready, report to the D-Wing Infirmary for your release. Of course, you could stay here if you really wanted to. Would security please report to the D-Wing Infirmary to resolve a D-Class revolt? Bring in their sticks. Any personnel that spot SCP-1048 are to drop whatever it is they are doing and immediately detain it. Anything else that resembles a teddy bear is to be destroyed on sight. Attention. SCP-507 has disappeared into an alternate reality. Attention. SCP-507 has reappeared on a beach in northern Canada. A retrieval team has been deployed. Attention. SCP-507 has reappeared outside the facility and will return to his quarters after he has received the Big Mac he ordered at the local McDonald's. Attention. SCP-507 has reappeared outside the facility and is currently en route to return. Prepare to throw over him another welcome back party. Attention! SCP-507 has reappeared on the border of the neighboring state. A retrieval team has been deployed with his exact coordinates. Welcome back, Grabnock the Destroyer. I hope you brought back a souvenir from the spider dimension. It has been over two weeks since SCP-507 has returned from his last dimension hop. All personnel are advised not to touch him unless they want to risk getting lost in the multiverse. Under no circumstance whatsoever are you to discuss or directly name SCP Turkey Fox Trot Total Oat, except through visual guides, gestures, or interpretive dance. Today's experiment with me has been postponed, as one of the researchers assigned to me has been convinced that he is a toaster. We are currently accepting applicants of all levels for testing with SCP-1162. Please submit a request to Dr. Neiman if you wish to stick your arm in a hole in the wall and exchange all the hair on your body for a shiny rock that you lost when you were 12. Would Dr. Gill please report to shipping to sign for the delivery of a shipment of trout to be cooked and deposited into containment chamber 3942? All personnel believed to be suffering symptoms of SCP-2662's involuntary effects are to undergo immediate psych evaluation. Remember, a 5% chance of you losing your sanity and joining a cult is far from impossible. In light of recent events, Dr. Bright is no longer permitted to host or schedule a local area network party in SCP-2662's containment unit. Any suggestions or complaints regarding the containment of SCP-2845 at Site-100 will be immediately discarded. As part of Site-100's new health and safety protocols, a containment breach drill will now be initiated. Please pretend that SCP-2845 has breached containment. Now pretend that the nuclear device has been armed and set to detonate within 10 seconds. All A-class personnel are to be immediately escorted to the nearest fallout bunker. If you fail to reach safety before you hear the word BOOM, please lie on the floor and pretend that your body has been reduced to atoms. BOOM. If this were a real containment breach, Protocol 2845XK1 would now be activated. Luckily, this was only a drill. Please resume your regular activities. Following yesterday's containment breach drill, the O5 Council and the Ethics Committee have seen fit to terminate the Directors of Health and Safety at Site 100. All future containment breach drills have been cancelled and will not be held ever again. We at the SCP Foundation thank you for your understanding. The O5 Council has ordered for SCP-682's immediate termination. We have previously conducted multiple tests in attempt to neutralize SCP-682. Results have ranged from disappointing to catastrophic. I wonder why that is. How hard can it be to kill a simple, albeit oversized lizard? 
Oh, it says here that SCP-682 possesses powerful regenerative and mutative abilities, which make it impossible to kill, even with the Foundation's immense resources. Well, I'll be sure to record every single moment of this test on video, in case you come across a breakthrough, or so future generations can point at you and laugh while watching tapes of you being violently murdered.